emails from dmcgaming.net and what you see here is I've already placed CPU cooler in here and uh, as you see they're not the stock fans that I'm using, I'm using uh, the ones that I use in my old one it is uh, the Apaches, they're about 15 dB in sound but they do really good pushing air uh, see that's the rad right up there and it fits perfectly fine with the two, I think they are 25 or 20 cm fans above the case uh, so that's the rad up there and it probably goes all down there um, you know, if you were going to do a normal water cooling C, if I remove the CD drive, you could put a triple rad in there. Uh, it'll be just hanging, but still, you can fit it in there with no modifications, so it's a good case. It took time fitting it in, so I couldn't uh, make the video. Uh, the profile fan speed button here, uh, you won't be able to see it. If I could turn off the. There we go. That's slow, medium and high. For some reason when I was running uh, Prime 95 the, the fans, I know all my fans are on full speed at the moment um, but I couldn't tell the difference if the fans were speeding up or not. That's the, that's the only problem I had. I couldn't tell the difference so the only way I could I, was, I did the test is uh, my old uh, Corsair um, H50 with the, with the computer controlling the fan, the pull push configuration with these with these two fans, it the highest it went. Um, sorry, sorry, my CPU is i7 uh, 1155, running at 4.5 gigahertz uh, of clocked, and the highest it maxed out was 77 degrees, 78 uh, Celsius. Uh, this uh, running at full, I don't know, with that selected full. I ran the test, I normally let the system idle for a little while, it's about 38, 40, it's quite hot outside, it's about 29 Celsius, 28. Case temperature is about 32. If I can show you on the screen instead, I took some screenshots. That, oh, I need to take the light off. Right, okay. There you go, okay, this is where it's at its lowest settings. How I did this was either mine's faulty, I don't know what's wrong with it, I had to switch the computer off, set it to low, restart it, and then do it that way. I ran it for quite a while, let it sit for idle about 10-15 minutes, then run the test for like 15 minutes to half an hour, and you can see the, the minimum values, so I'll say the case is about 32, ignore that 38, that was, I was testing something. About 37, 38 degrees, it was idling. It's about 39. The max it went to was 72. It was between 72 and 71. And that's that. If I go to the next one, this one's at medium. Same amount of, same amount of temperature, 32 in the case, roughly. It was idling about 38 as well, 39, and the highest it went down went to is 69, sometimes 70, but it's stuck around 69. So that's that. And this is at the highest setting, and you can see lowest the idle speed about 39, 38, 40s, and the highest it went to was 68, 68. It was about 67. 68. So between that and my old one, if I can find my old one, my old one, the H50, that I around 39, 40 as well, and the highest that one was 78, 77. So between that and the, the H100, um, if you have it on full speed, it's about, knocks off about 10 degrees, 9, deg 9, 9 Celsius, so that's quite good for this setup. I don't know what's wrong with mine, 
I've just noticed just a while back my motor in this as well, the pump is starting to make noise. Um, I noticed that if I tilted my case to the side, the noise would go away. So it's a bit odd. I was thinking because you've got four slots of fans, I was thinking if I remove it again tomorrow and then put two more fans on there to do a pull, uh, pull push configuration. I know there's two more fans on top. The, the 25, I think it's or 20 centimeter ones up here gives it away like a pull push, but it's mostly the hot air is coming on this last one, not the front one. I don't know what to do at the moment, so either it's faulty and every time I click that it won't uh, change because I'll try doing the, the temperature test with that while changing it every half an hour the temperature stayed the same so it could be faulty I don't know but still give me a decent temperature uh, out of it at 4.5 gigahertz what else to say the other thing I had got to say I am a bit disappointed in the build quality, uh, especially with the rads. The problem is with the, with the rads when you put a screw through, the screws I feel are a bit too long. When they get pushed through, it bends the fins. The fins actually get bent, they get pushed in, which is a bit disappointing. They should have made a exact size so they, you know, leave a bit of gap to fit in. So I, I don't know what else you can say about that, but. That's so far, I'm still thinking if I could find the other two Apache fans, I can try and uh, do a pull push configuration if I can fit it in and see if that gives it better results. So hopefully I should come back with an update. Well, see you guys later.